Hmm. All right, Shalom. We're just picking up after the last vid, and hopefully this could be a shorter segment because we didn't put the previous segment where we dealt with, well, what does it mean to be approved or disapproved according to the scripture, according to First Corinthians, um, according to First Corinthians nine and twenty-seven. It's a very important verse, and we went through a basic of it. But it kind of balances, in a sense, with a next verse that we and others should know by now, and hopefully is practicing, that Second Timothy 2 and, and 15, where it says, Study to shoot or show thyself approved to God, a workman, or a workwoman, but a workman, generically speaking, that needeth not to be ashamed. Right? Rightly dividing the word of truth. And not ashamed by men and people. They may be praised by men and people, but ashamed by Ha Elohim. Ashamed by the true and the living God, the God and the Father of our black Lord and Savior, the Moshiach, Yeshua, of Jesus Christos, Ketachi. All right? All right. So, that right there connects Second Timothy 2 and 15. So, if, if this is a shorter segment and on Ethiopian World Net and you're interested in these discipleship teachings, you need to go to and subscribe to Rastafari Sabbatical channel on the YouTubes and the fuller segments will be there on disciple and discipleship, clarifying, going to some of the definition as well as the right now applications, right? The right now applications that we can begin even gradually, even in grace. See, in grace means that we can begin as we are able to. All right? A next one might be able to take on a little bit more, but they'll begin with those baby steps. Begin with the milk of the word until one's structure, right, and instruction becomes stronger and one's will becomes more obedient to the good influence of Jah's word, right, of, 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 of the word of Jah. Right, along with the fellowship, which is very important. But you, but but you're not alone. The main thing is that you are not alone, because a lot of folks think that they, they glory in, in in men, and we're, we're not to glory in men because all things are ours. And John even talks on that when John even says, um, Johannes, the apostle, he says it's the anointing. Let me just touch on that right now. It's the anointing that teaches us. Because some might feel, uh, you know, um, that they, because they don't know it yet, that they, it's difficult for them to get it, and they may have the Bible and have these resources, but you also have to pray for wisdom. Before you even begin your studies, as the King of Kings says, pray. Ask for wisdom. To just a straight-up prayer to, to Abba in the name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua. May I be given wisdom in this reading so that I be approved. I'll be found worthy to, 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 to escape these things which are coming, to stand before the Son of Man. I want to know these things, right? And just bring forth a, a willing heart and a mind in that grace. Now, um, the verse that I wanted just to share right here is from where John talks about um, it's that anointing, right? It's that anointing that's right here in 1 John. Right, a First John, um, chapter two. Right, First John, chapter two. And now we, as the children, are warned against against apostates. Right, those who may, you know, come in sheep's clothing, but are inwardly raving and are, are leading off of the way and going off on some tangent away from the clearly revealed teaching of His Majesty, the clearly revealed. Um, um, word of God in Christ. So we are warned, and it's important, Yovas, they deny the true deity of Christos. And basically, in Rastafari, they deny the teaching of His Majesty. You know what I'm saying? They, they deny the teaching. They come up with another kind of a gospel or thing, some Balaam thing, right? Um, and, and we need to, in, in one way, disguise or another. That's why you need to study. You need to learn. You need to take the time out and gradually, little by little. It's, it's like exercise. It's like this spiritual exercise, actually. 
right? so we can truly walk and overcome in this spiritual warfare. So they deny the true deity of Christos. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, as you have shemmed, that Antichrist, Christos Tekawami, shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists. Even right now there are many who, who oppose or who are opposers of Christos. They are opposers of the true deity and the true word and the true application of the word of God. Even if they say they are Christians or they come in Jesus' name, right? Whereby ye know, this is how we know that it is the last time. There are so many um, um, denom denominations and pseudo-denominations out there. If one truly said, yes, I want to learn of Christ, uh, I would like to really, and you, they go here and there. It's only the grace of God. It really, honestly, it's only the grace of God that can lead them eventually through, through all that tribulation to the straight and the narrow way, to the right way the way that they can know the truth for themselves and know who are their true brothers and sisters to fellowship or to have church, as it is called. Verse 19 said that they went out from us. So it shows that those who are antichrist, they even pretend to be pseudo-Christ. You understand? Or, you know, they pretend to be Christian, in other words, because they went out from us. Or they were Judaic, or in this sense they were Rastas, or they were down with I and I, as it were, so to speak, right? They went out from us, but were not of us. They, they went out from I and I, but they were not of I and I. This is how you know them. For if they had been of I and I, they would no doubt have continued with I and I. But they went out, right? They went off on a tangent. Right? Oh, what's he talking about? Such and such. And instead of checking it out for themselves and making their argument according to the word and the truth and the testimony of his majesty, the testimony of Yeshua and, and the teaching of his majesty, they went, they went off-road, right? That they might be manifest, that they were not all of us. Maybe they were a little bit here or there. Yeah, I agree with you there, but not over there. But, but isn't that part of the same word, right? Verse 20 says, but... Ye have an unction. That means we have a kibbat, we have an anointing, right? As true Rastafarian, as Christian, right? And Meshahawiyan, we have an unction from the Holy One, from Kedus, from Kedusu, right? And ye know all things. So even if you are not conscious that you know all things, he who is within you in grace, right, to the glory of Abba, right, he is that anointing. And through that anointing within you, you know all things. That doesn't mean you walk around and say, oh, I know everything. See, see, once you do that, you've fallen from grace. You kind of are going off on a tangent, right? He says, I have not written to you because ye know not the truth. This is not for those who don't know illness. Hopefully, let me take, take a time check, right? This is for those who do know illness or we say Ethiopian world net, right? Um, it's not because you don't know the truth, but because you know it. You know the truth, Yovas, and that no lie is of the truth. No lie is of the truth. So if they want to come along and, you know, try to give us the counterfeit Jesus or the counterfeit gospel or the counterfeit, um, you know, name or whatever they try to do, once we recognize, you know, this is a lie. The scripture don't say it, the history don't say it, but who is a liar, right? But he that denieth, right, he was a kahadi, he was an infidel, they deny that Yeshua is Hamoshiach, right? They deny that Yeshua is, is, is Hamoshiach, they deny that Jesus is Christos, you know, and, and, and there's many of them that that wear the sheep clothing, you know, with the dreadlocks, and, and they're talking about some other kind of, they offer some tangent. And they're trying to say, well, it's all the same thing. That's because they haven't studied. They don't know it deep enough. They think it is in their ignorance because they have not received that unction. They have not humbled themselves to the teaching of his majesty and learned the truth. He or she is Antichrist, Christo Tekawami, that denieth the Father and the Son. That denieth the Ab and the Weld. They deny the Father and the Son. And, and you know, there's some sisters that will say, well, it's also the mother and all that. You see, you, you're going off on a tangent. 
Right? The mother, our mother, is in Gemarium, she is via. Sion, Zion is via. Learn what that means. Right? The black mother and child is via. But we're talking about the relationship of the father and the son. Whosoever denieth the son, right, the same hath not the father. But now they try to flip it in Babylon through the baby mama dramas and through the single mom phenomena and the mama's boyisms and schisms and slick woolly lynchism, which has overturned, right, it's like a overthrown the black family, right, overthrown the image of the black male, over, have sought to war against God, right? He whosoever denieth the son, the same hath not the father, but he that acknowledgeth the son hath the father also. Make them therefore, make them therefore, make, make, make that, or let that therefore abide. Let that dwell in you. In other words, when you read that right there, take a the time, pause this, stop it, just meditate on it. Just, just meditate on that part about the father and the son. If you don't know, then pray for wisdom, right? Pray and don't be double-minded because then you don't, you just waste your time. Make that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard come in Jamaria from Bereshit, right, from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain, if this remains in you, right, ye shall, ye also shall continue. You'll be able to continue, continue in the Son and in the Father, in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise, this is the Tesla, this is the hope, this is the expectation that he has promised in us even life, life eternal. Shalom, stay tuned for part two, for the next part of this. Well, actually, <laughs> hope you didn't stop it right there. Actually, we, we just took a time check because we can't really see the time from over here, but we don't want, if it runs over, then we just make it a longer portion, okay, right now. We're just doing this like this. Don't, don't stress yourself. Verse 26, it says, These things have I written to you concerning them that seduce you. Because there's many other ones that, oh, well, he's talking about the Bible, and, you know, the Bible, it's a lot of the babbling about, they're trying to seduce you. But it says in verse 27, the anointing, Right, the anointing which ye have received, which you have kabbalah, if you have kabbalah, if you have received of him, it abides, it dwells, it tabernacles in you. So it's not you finding or seeking God outside, but it is in you through the word, through the engrafted word, right, which is able to save your soul. And ye need not that any teach you. You really don't need one to teach you. I'm not really teaching you. I'm reminding you. It's the Holy Spirit that's teaching you. If this resonates with you, it is him and you that is resonating in this word, right? So it's not that you need, you're needy, you want, you want. No, because it's in you, right, but in grace and humility. But as the same anointing teaches you of all things, it's the same anointing that teaches you all things and is truth and is no lie. And even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. And now, little children, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we, I and I, may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. So see how they use the, the shame. You see, the world used that shame, but this also shows us that there's a real reason why one is to be ashamed if they are disapproved. And we touched on that already. Last verse right here is how the little children may know each other. How can we know each other? One say, well, how can I know if that one over there, I just have a Bible. Well, here's the word it says, verse 29, it says, if you know that he is righteous, if you know what, you know, that he is sadik, right? The Malkat sadik, but that he is sadik. You know that everyone that doeth the Siddiq in that, or doeth Siddiq, is born. Everyone who doeth righteousness is born of him. And Yeshua HaMoshiach, he is I and I righteousness. More to come. Shalom.